Alright, uh, this video is just uh, me updating a couple of items that I um, modify. Uh, first, we'll go to the um, NECA Freddy uh, glove. I think this is from the Dream Warrior. And um, uh, you might notice that uh, the rivets are now um, silver, uh, um, chromed instead of uh, the copper that it originally came with. Uh, the uh, the the reason about that, the reason for that is because uh, I modified it, uh, a few of the fingers to make it a little more manageable, uh, a little more catered to my uh, hand. So here I have two gloves. Um, one uh, I'm uh, back at uh, I think well, last year or the year before. Uh, I was at uh, Walker Stalker Con and uh, met uh, Robert England, so I had him sign this glove. So which which means that I will never wear this again because uh, he actually um, uh, tried it and then uh, took a picture with me uh, with it on. So yeah, so this is uh, uh, it's just for display from now on and uh, here's what he wrote very cool uh, so I went ahead and bought another gloves uh, one that I could um, try on and mess with uh, something I could uh, yeah mess with uh, when, whenever I want to um, so you could clearly say um, well not so clearly uh, you could kinda tell that uh, the fingers are shorter uh, for the one on the right, then on the left, and uh, you notice, uh, let's see, here you can see the index finger is much shorter than the rest of the fingers, uh, even pinky. Uh, you can see the pinky is actually longer than the index finger, which is uh, not accurate, because no one has a pinky that's longer than the index finger. And then the middle one is pretty, um, uh, pretty tall, pretty long. But the fourth finger should be a little bit shorter as well. And uh, the modified one, you can see the index is uh, a little longer than the pinky. And uh, the third and the fourth fingers are not the same height. And uh, that's that's what happened. Uh, I basically um, took the rivets off and then I uh, had to cut the bottom of the index. Uh, well, no, not the index. The middle, fourth, and the pinky. Uh, all three of these uh, has been chopped off. Um, actually, the lower section has been cut off. And then uh, I uh, drilled another hole for the um, for the plate to go through uh, to line up with the plate, and then uh, attach my own rivets on there. And uh, also mess with the um, articulation a little bit. Uh, if you have this glove you notice the joints are pretty stiff it doesn't really want to move but now uh, mine it's uh, very loose and I think that's how it should be when it comes to a glove and uh, here you can see uh, the pinky is a little uh, is still too long uh, the metal piece uh, still too long but uh, there's nothing I could do unless I know how to weld uh, which I don't have the material to do that, so I won't be able to do that. Otherwise, I would uh, take the take this whole pinky off and then reassemble it and uh, try to get it to be even shorter. But since I don't have the proper material to do that, I won't be able to fix that. And here you can see the fingers are actually dangling and the joints are really loose. That's how it should be, and uh, in order to do that, uh, I'll show you how to fix that problem. Alright, so what you need is a plier, and uh, all you need to do is uh, pinch this section right here. Uh, pinch it close a little bit, so it gives a little bit more room between the, um, the rivet and the joint. And uh, here you can see, uh, once you clamp this section uh, tight a little bit, then uh, it will loosen up the joint here and the rivets over here so it will loosen up the the whole um, articulation and here you can see how smooth it is now it's a lot smoother and easier to move the glove is way easier to move now yeah and uh, I could clamp down quite a bit without any issues so yeah Joints are nice and loose, and uh, the actual um, tip of my fingers are pretty close to the uh, top of the 
the, the metal um, piece here so you can see fits quite nicely now except for the pinky uh, again if I had to do that if I wanted to fix that I would have to take this whole uh, pinky off and then uh, reattach it uh, somehow cut it and then reattach it uh, for it to to work and I would have to uh, re-weld this uh, this hook here for the for the finger otherwise uh, that would not uh, that, that would be kind of tough because I don't have a welding machine and uh, another thing I modified uh, was the um, C3PO from uh, SciShow and I uh, here you could notice uh, you will see that uh, he doesn't have uh, he's not sweating uh, oil anymore at least uh, not as um, uh, prominent and uh, the reason uh, for that is because uh, I was able to scrape uh, some of those uh, uh, well weathering off of his uh, head so yesterday I was watching uh, the making of A New Hope and uh, I noticed that C-3PO uh, during uh, some of the desert scenes uh, he didn't have uh, these uh, sweating, uh, uh, sweating spots uh, on his head uh, he wasn't sweating oil and uh, I figured you know what it is time for me to do something about it uh, I want to fix it and uh, uh, initially I was wondering how am I going to do it this because uh, uh, I'm afraid that I'm gonna scratch off uh, some of the gold paint. So what I used, uh, what I tried was uh, I used a Q-tip. I mean, no, uh, a toothpick. Uh, initially, I was using the the pointy tip, and uh, I kept scraping and scraping. It didn't do anything. But then uh, I started using the end part. Uh, I don't know what it is about the end part that uh, made it work, but uh, maybe it's a little rougher or smoother. I'm not sure. But uh, initially, I didn't. Of course, I didn't try it uh, on this uh, on the front of his head. I tried it back here, like uh, right this uh, this section. So I started uh, scraping it, uh, adding a little pressure, a little more, a little more. And then I noticed uh, it started making this um, kind of like a, uh, when you're scratching a chalk chalk uh, chalkboard, and uh, it, it gives you that squeaky sound. And uh, so I did it, and then I noticed uh, the paint was. Uh, um, started disappear disappearing uh the um the weathering so uh, so i was like you know what i'm gonna try it on uh some of these uh, sweat stains here so i did it on uh here and it worked here and i think three drips right here i took it all off and i uh, did the same thing on the side i mean you can still see a little bit of residual uh from the from the from the paint uh, from the weathering effect they did but uh, it's uh, definitely a lot way 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 better than uh, what they did uh, initially and then I started uh, going over the the, the, the dent uh, on his uh, helmet and then uh, uh, here lies the problem uh, I took it uh, I took it a little too far uh, I added a little more pressure than I uh, should have and uh, I took some of the uh, gold paint off so something you gotta really watch out for um, here it doesn't really matter to me that much because um, it is um, an indented area and uh, to me uh, even though you know I took some of the paint off it's still okay with me uh, but here you could clearly see uh, the under layer is black and then I start uh, trying it on the in this section right here and you can see some uh, some black marks on here is because I also took some of the paint off here you can see right there some black marks and then I decided you know what it's time for me to stop I don't want to mess this up uh, so this is okay I'm not that worried about it this uh, it's all all right I'm not that worried about it. if it was here some of these sections right here then I would I would be pissed but overall I think uh, now it looks way better oh yeah and I also took the streak off I know uh, in the film it has this streak but it wasn't like that long so I took some of these off I basically took the whole thing off but uh, still you can still see a little bit of it here and there but uh, I'm okay with it so if you if you decide to do this um, be very very careful because uh, like me you might uh, you might end up uh, taking off some of the gold paint but uh, uh, so I, I highly recommend uh, trying a couple of spots uh, on his backside first see if you could take it off if you can then go for it but uh, if you aren't uh, 
Yeah, yeah. But uh, if you aren't uh, anal like me, because uh, I was every time I look at the C3PO, I was so pissed. Uh, it just uh, makes me so angry that they added these uh, streaks on there, which it's not necessary. Uh, it wasn't on the prototype either, but uh, they added. But uh, so now I was able to take it off, take them off, and uh, I'm happy with the result. And uh, now I don't mind looking at C3PO all the time, because it is a nice figure. It's just the weathering. They could have done it a little bit better. So that's all. Yeah. So those are the mods I did. Uh, just want to share it with you guys and. Uh, let me know if you guys need help on any of those uh, modifications. Uh, write, uh, write, 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 uh, write in the description. I mean, write in the comment section. If I could help, I'll definitely try to help. Uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, one more thing I did uh, was uh, modify the thumb. Uh, now it's a little bit better. Uh, uh, initially, when it first came out of the box, uh, the thumb was uh, in the wrong uh, place. Uh, it wasn't pointing the right direction. Uh, it was all, it was just weird. So uh, what I did, what I did was uh, heat up with the hair dryer, that whole hand. Heat up with the hair dryer, and then um, I just started twisting the thumb a little bit, and uh, making the plastic move to the right position. And uh, there, I, there you go, and there you have it. Uh, correct position for the thumb.